Hello, my name is Alex. I'm a senior consultant with Analysis Prime. In this video, I'll walk you through how to rank and sort on percentages of absolute variance in charts. This is part of the latest QRC update for Q3 2023. What we'll be covering is how we can rank and sort on absolute variance or percentage variance in a chart. What are the available dimension and measure combinations to use the rank and sort functionality and what are the current limitations with this feature. A little background on this feature. In the optimized story experience, designers and viewers have the option to sort on variances. This can be the absolute variance or the percentage variance and you can sort by high to low or low to high. With this functionality, you can only define one sort at a time. There is no option to group or ungroup the color dimensions applied to versions. This is to ensure that the sort is applied correctly. And this works on all variance display types, whether it is a bar, data label, or integrated. And the current limitations with this feature is you cannot sort on multiple variances at a time and sorting on dimension and variance together is not supported. This is a snippet of where we can find the functionality for sort and rank. Let us go into the system to see how this works. I am now in the SEC system and I will select my chart where I have the variance. To add a variance, you can go into the Builder panel, scroll down, and under Chart Add-ons, you have the option to add a variance. Since I have one added, we go into the features that I have set up. So I am comparing two different time periods and I am having my variance display as a bar and this functionality to rank and sort works on all of these three options. I, am set, I have set this to display as a percentage and I have toggled the absolute base value on. Now if we have zeros or nulls in your data set and you want to display them as zero you can select this checkbox to show no data as zero. Now to sort, we can click on the three dots, go to sort, and you can see that I have my variance here, and I have the option to select from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. I will select highest to lowest. As you can see, my variance has been rearranged from highest to lowest. In a similar way, I will select lowest to highest and you can see that my variance rearranges based on the selection. For rank, you can go to the same three dots, rank, go to top and options and under account, click on the drop down and you'll see the variance listed here. Now you can select top 10 or bottom 10 or you can also change the value here to show 5, 10, 15, 20 based on your requirement. I will let it be at 10 and I'll select the variance, click on apply. As you can see my variance has rearranged to top 10. Do note that this functionality is available only in the optimized design experience and not the classic design experience. Let's recap on what we have seen. We have seen how to add a variance to a chart, 
how we can use the rank and sort based on the absolute variance or percentage variance and what are the current limitations or restrictions with this feature. Thank you for watching.